Hello and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr Barton, where every week I try my very, very best to find you a tricky, interesting, challenging question that's really going to help further your knowledge for this GCSE Maths exam. Now, all these questions have been written exclusively for my Diagnostic Questions website by each of the exam bodies, and I only choose ones that have got interesting little twists in there or that are causing students problems. And this is a classic example of that. It has been written by AQA and it goes a little something like this. The sizes and degrees of the angles of a triangle, better label that. Now, let me just pause here. So I'm reading that first question and I'm thinking, oh, okay, so this is gonna be about angles. So maybe I'm gonna get 27 degrees, 40 degrees. I go on the next line, what the flipping heck's this? 69 take X, three X take 33. They're only flipping bringing algebra into the mix as well. And this is the thing about this new GCSE. It's not enough just to know single topics. Topics are gonna to be fused together like never before. And in this question, we've got angles and we've got algebra. What type of triangle is it? And then what's this? What type of triangle is it? Equilateral, obtuse, isosceles, right angle. So we've got angles, we've got algebra, and we've got types of triangle all rolled into one. Whew. Flipping heck, right. If we're gonna approach this question, we're gonna need a diagram. I can't draw diagrams, but I always try my very best with them because they really help you picture it. So let's draw ourselves, or let me attempt to draw myself a triangle. Now, I don't know what this triangle is gonna look like, um, what type of triangle it's gonna be, because that's the whole question. So I'll just draw kind of a random looking triangle there, okay? And what do I know? Well, I know the sizes of the angles. I know that one angle, and it might be this one, is 69 take x. I know this angle here, let's call it 3x take 33. And just to emphasize, you know, I'm just, this is not to scale or anything like that. It's just helping me get a visual picture of this question. And this angle, 2x plus 36. Okay, there we go. Now, what type of triangle is it? No idea, could be isosceles, could be right angles, no idea. So what am I gonna do? Well, if I knew the sizes of the angles, that's gonna help me, right? Because if I knew all the angles are the same, I know it's gonna be equilateral. If I know two of the angles are the same, I know it's gonna be isosceles and so on. How am I gonna work out the size of each of the angles? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna solve an equation because I've got three angles there. And whilst I don't know the size of them, what I do know is if I add them together, so 3x take 33, that's the first angle, plus 69 take x, that's the second angle, plus 2x plus 36, that's the third angle. When I add them together, what, what do I know I've got to get? It's got to be 180 degrees, the total angles in a triangle. So now I've got an equation that I just need to solve, and it's a bit of a weird equation. There's a load of x's bobbing around, but I should be fine. So let's, uh, let's not mess this up. Let's deal with this nice and slow. So I have got three x's. I've got to take off an x. So I reckon that's me down to two x's. Then I've got to add on two x's. So I reckon that is me up to four x's. So I'm going to go for a four x there. Now, let me deal with my numbers. I've got negative 33 and add on 69. That sounds too hard for me. I'm going to do it the other way around. 69 take off 33. I reckon that's going to leave me with 36. Then I'm going to add another 36 on there. I reckon, if my maths is right, that's going to give me 72. Equal to 180. Okay. Equation to solve. Mr. Barton's patented wiggly line technique. Let's take 72 off both sides. 4x equals... Got rid of my 72 there. 180 takes 72. Hopefully 108. I hope. And then divide both sides by 4. X equals, quick way of dividing by 4. Halve it, halve it again. Half of 108, 54. Half of 54, 27. Have I finished? Have I finished? Just getting warmed up here. Because now I know X is 27. That hopefully is going to help me work out the size of each of these angles. So let's take this one first. So I've got 3x take 33. So I now know that's three lots of 27 take 33. Flipping out, they're making me work hard here. Three 27s. Well, three 20s are 60 and three sevens are 21. Add those together, 81. So I've got 81 take 33. Oh, flipping heck. What's 81 take 33? Well, 81 take 30 is 51. Take another three. I'm going to go for 48 degrees there. So I reckon that one's 48. Let's get myself a different color for this one. Hopefully this will be a bit easier. Two lots of X. So two lots of 27 
plus 36. I'm not much easier. Two lots of 27. Hopefully, if my maths is right, that's 54. Plus 36. 54 plus 36, I think, is going to be 90 degrees. And last but not least, and I'll tell you what's nice about this, I've got a little checking mechanism here. So 69 take X. X, we said, was 27. Ooh, finally, a finally easy, uh, an easy one. 60 take 20 would be 40. 9 take 7 would be 2, so 42. I've got a checking mechanism because I know each of these angles has to, when I add them together, has got to give me 180. So 42 plus 48, 90 plus 90, 180. Things are looking good. So, I'm knackered here. What type of triangle is it? Is it equilateral? Well, no, all the angles aren't 60 degrees. Is it obtuse? I'd need an angle bigger than 90. No, nah, not one of those. Is it isosceles? No, base angles aren't the same, 42 and 48, no. Is it right angled? Yes, it is, 90 degrees, there we go. So it must be a right angle triangle. Okay, so that's that solved. I will say now, where might you've got each of the wrong answers from? But it's a bit different this time because if you've solved this equation or you've set it out like this, Fingers crossed you're going to end up with right angle triangle. If you get it wrong, I think the thing you're going to end up with is maybe a scalene triangle, um, as in a triangle where all the angles are different sizes. I don't think you're going to end up with any of these others unless you make some kind of horrendous mistake or you're simply guessing. If you set it out this way, I think you're going to conclude it's a right angle triangle or if you make a slip, it's going to be a scalene triangle. But I know what you're thinking, come on, don't leave me hanging like this. Give me something extra to, to go away with. So what about this? Could you redesign this question so that the answer comes out A equilateral? And then can you redesign the question so it comes out obtuse? And then can you redesign the question so it comes out isosceles? If you can do that, your knowledge of angles and algebra will go through the roof. So final kind of word of advice. In this new GCSE, topics are going to be fused together. Make sure you know your individual topics first and then be ready for anything. OK, if you want to uh, try the rest of this quiz out, it'll put you to the ultimate test um, in angles. So do that on the Diagnostic Questions website. And if you need any help in any of the individual topics, you know by now you can get that on MrBartonMaths.com. And I will see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.